Hi there, it's Stephanie. So we left off looking at this screen in the course that contains all of the notes the user's taken throughout the course, allows them to type in additional notes, and they, they can print those notes or email the notes to themselves. Let's take a look over in Storyline and see how this is set up. Now I'll just switch over to Story View first so you can see the, the bigger picture here. So the file that uh, you'll have access to has four different scenes in it. Uh, scene 1 is Welcome, Scene 2 is the Elevator, Scene 4 down below here is the uh, basically the content of floor number 2 where it has an intro slide, the slide where the user types notes, and then a, a wrap-up slide. And then scene number 3 is that area where it shows all the notes collected during the course. So let's take a look at 4.2 Review which is where the user types in their information initially. So basically it's just a graphic and all I've done is I've used the, um, I've inserted a data entry field here, I've formatted it, sized it, placed it onto the uh, graphic of the notepad and I've adjusted the variable so it's going to a custom variable, variable called thoughts2 which means any of the information that's typed in that data entry field is contained in the thoughts2 variable. When the user clicks on the continue button it displays the advice layer and the advice layer basically has a text box that has been inserted and then in that text box I've inserted a reference to the variable. So the reference is just basically has a percentage on the front and the back end and then the variable name. And when you do that it displays the content of the variable. So I've formatted the text box so that it, it displays in the right uh, size and font and it wraps correctly and all that jazz. And uh, that's really all that's on here. There's no other uh, variables or other uh, scripting that's part of that process. If we go back out into Story View, now we'll pop over to the area where all that information is collected. And that's the, uh, the scene three, the notes. And you can see I've done basically the same thing. I've inserted text boxes with references to the various variables. In this case, thoughts two is what was actually active. And in and, and I've placed and the little tricky part here is because of the screen sizing, I couldn't have if a user typed in a lengthy response, there wouldn't be any room on the screen. So what I've done is I've first placed in uh, scrolling boxes, three scrolling boxes, and then inside those scrolling boxes, I placed in a text box with the reference to the variable. And in that way, they can scroll through the information if it happens to be lengthy without losing it or taking too much screen real estate. And here is another text uh, entry, which is going to the notes variable. And here, up here, where the email is, is another text entry, and that's going to the email variable. The icons for the print and the uh, sorry, the print and the email are executing JavaScript commands. If we were to take a look at the printer one, you can see oh, you're going to go, oh my God, <laughs> what's that? It looks complicated. But really, it's all, all the work's already been done for you. There's a couple of adjustments that you'll want to make in here to customize it to your content, but all the work has already been done. So I'll explain this, uh, the content of those uh, script, scripts in just a second here. The only other thing that you need to be aware of is that in the course, I also have somewhere earlier in the course, so on the home screen, in this case, I also have a bit of JavaScript here that executes when the timeline starts. Now this JavaScript, all it's doing is basically taking the current date, formatting it the way I want it formatted, and it's putting it into a custom variable that I've created called system date. And I use that for the printout later on when a user prints, it grabs that system, the content of system date, and it's formatted nicely. So that's all that that's doing. Then you, and it's great, it's a good little thing to put in there if you want to reference the current date on anything that you're doing later in the course. And then I've uh, also included in the download of the source uh, is a PowerPoint file that just kind of goes through all that information. So what the variables are, where, where they're used, and then there's three slides here, one for the JavaScript for the email, one for the system date, and one for the printout. And I've put in bold and different colors where the customization points are. So you can take a look through that. I won't have time in the screener to go through all the scripting, but it should be fairly self-evident. And uh, the file is a, a working functional file that you can uh, replicate if you'd like. So if you have any questions or any other thoughts, just let me know.